and oh, we're live. Okay. Hey, everybody. Wait a minute. Okay, there you are. Now you're on screen. You're on that screen and that screen. Hey, welcome. Welcome to another uh, another edition, another Bible study. Uh, hope everybody's been having a good week. Uh, last week, I think we were. Uh, that, wow. It just seems. I've done so much stuff between uh, last now. week. And, <laughs> yes, yes. Went down and saw saw my mom and went to Wild Adventure uh, with the kids and helped my mom uh, clear out the, the closet. My stepdad passed away, and so we helped clear out some of that stuff. And we still got to make a run by by uh, the rehab. We want to donate the clothes to a, to a rehab. So I mean, we just weren't able to find one that was open on the weekend. Which... <laughs> <laughs> you can't leave it alone. He won't leave it alone today. He missed me. I ain't, he ain't seen me in a minute, so I just, he just want to hang out. So, so that was my weekend weekend. How was your weekend weekend? My week was pretty good. Weekend was work. <laughs> <laughs> we still doing that mandatory uh, oh, overtime. Oh, okay, so, yeah, yeah. So I'm up at four, four every morning, headed to work. Wow, yeah, wow. So, that's yeah. that's makes me tired just thinking about it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So how was your week and weekend? What did you do? I know you went to the aquarium. <laughs> okay, you came home, you turned around, I took the kids out, came, you turned around, you sat, took two of the kids, and you went down for a weekend. Mm -hmm. And then you came back, and then the week started. Yeah, we went to the aquarium. That's good. <laughs> yeah. So if you get a chance, uh, check out in a, an aquarium, but be careful, because I don't know, there's just something about. You know whether uh, Shamu should be living in a bathtub. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, <laughs> to that point, some of those animals, a good portion of the animals, are rescued. Are rescued yeah, and good. cannot be released to the wild. That's a good point. So it's the same thing with a lot of zoos as well. Yeah. You know, for whatever reason, that animal cannot be released. Therefore, it's better to. Yeah. At least they're taking care of it. Oh, you're right. You know, that animal's ocean to swim in, but. Yeah, what would happen? Otherwise, it'd be lunch. Yeah. Right. So, uh, yeah, so that was our week. Uh, hopefully, everybody is watching. It's been having a, a good week, great week, what have you. Uh, but today, we are going to start off with, I think, is a. Yeah, probably a foundational concept to understanding the Bible. The word I was coming up with. Foundational to understanding uh, God's relationship with us, how He deals with us, yes. um, and how He has dealt with us. Uh, and we'll get into this, but actually, since creation, yeah. how He has dealt with us since creation, and that word is covenant. Uh, so, what do we mean by covenant? Uh, we got uh, two experts here. I'm just gonna, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll weigh in with some with some thoughts from uh, from from the, uh, the the un uneducated neophyte uh, perspective. And uh, well, yeah. I don't know as much of you. Know I don't know. <laughs> Let's pray and get started. <laughs> Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you uh, for the people that will join us uh, as we delve into your word. We go, go deeper and hopefully increase our understanding of how you relate to us, uh, how you've always related to us, and just give us the, the heart to, to understand how we can best, uh, how we can best glorify you through not only our understanding of the covenants, 
our sharing of the covenants and our and our uh, walking out our part of the covenant. Uh, in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. All right. So covenant. Mm, contract. Okay, maybe. But it's agreement. It's an agreement between two people, and it's fairest form. It's an agreement between two parties. That's it. Yeah. Agreement between two parties. And uh, I've seen a lot of numbers out there um, in terms of how many covenants there are uh, in the Bible. One that came up quite a bit was the number eight. Eight covenants. Um, well, you, so you got Eden, you got Adam, you got Noah. Eden and Adam. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about that. We need to talk about okay, that. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. Let's talk about that. Yeah, because one of the things about covenant okay. is, in fact, that it is a rarity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, you don't Conditional covenant comes in where you say, or where God says, if you do, then I will. It's a conditional covenant. The unconditional covenant is where God just says, I will. I will do. So those are, um, and as I understand it, there are only two, two conditional covenants. The rest of the covenants are unconditional. Okay, okay. You do like the numbers, it's true. 298 times. Okay. Now, there are two different words that are used depending on what part of the Bible is read. Okay. Either they use the E T, what we say. Which is a compact made by the pathway between pieces of flesh. Okay. Yep. That's what it is. It's a cut a covenant. You literally cut an animal in half and the two parties walk through. Okay. Okay. In the Greek, it's the opposite. The opposite. Okay. The opposite. Yeah. Okay. The opposite. And it means a disposition or a contract. Right. Okay. I will. Uh -huh. right. okay. So the ones that are that I listed Eden, the Edenic covenant. After the fall, then you have the Adamic covenant. Okay. So what would make uh, the Edenic covenant a covenant? Who, what will the who will the parties? Okay. Involved? Well, he has listed here. Okay. Okay. Cool. I've heard it before. But okay. So what? A question. Okay. So so what was your question again? My question was who are the parties involved? Yes. Okay. So so this is a uh, this it listed here is a conditional covenant, and so the parties 
And that was 128 through 30? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then two so things. you're saying that's a covenant? Well, that's part of the covenant. Okay, 215, you said, yes? 215 through 17. 
I, you know what, I would almost negate of the part A of that entire way. The only thing that you're not supposed to do. Okay, so you would say that the if if it is a covenant, then it really centers around yeah, the not part, getting of the okay. That first part doesn't mean well, don't, don't do nothing. Well, but it's not that part's not the conditional part, but I would but say they that, didn't that, even part. Get to that part because they never multiplied until after he turned them out. But that was the charge. The charge was to he, multiply, he still, they and still it's had the, a charge after. but it's the same charge that he gives to Noah. Right. He gives the same charge to Noah, right. which is uh, although the charge to Noah is slightly different because it. it Again, I might be able to give you. Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's what I said. That, that, I mean, I can kind of see. I might be able to go with you with Adam. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Adam here's how, here's how uh, one person uh, uh, puts the, they call it the covenant of works, not, not necessarily uh, the covenant of Eden, but they said that it's, okay, the contracting parties are A, God, as the whole government. Okay. And then you got Adam as the free moral agent. Okay. And representative of all his natural posterity, and then uh, you got the promise was life, mm -hmm. and the condition was perfect obedience to the law, the test, in this case, being abstaining yeah. from food, yeah. and then the penalty was death. Right. Uh, okay. Some call it the covenant of nature. That's okay. I'm, I'm right. just reading what right. I got. Okay. I, can, I can take Adam 22. They saw they sowed fig leaves, not animals. So they start fig leaves together to make themselves a loincloth. Okay, but what is but what does God say? It, but the so it's a could it be just asking a question? Could it be a because this is the beginning? There's a slightly different rule set because there is when we talk about work because man was always told to work work. Always, right. even in the garden, even before the fall, there was work, but it was easy work. After that, after the fall, work will be hard. Be quiet. Be quiet. But the warning was, the day that you eat of this tree, you will surely die. Right. Well, let's continue. Let's continue on that we know are coming. Okay. We all agree with it. Okay. Right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. So the first time would be in Genesis 6 18. Okay. At the end, of, you know, the landing. Nine, nine, nine through 17. It says nine. Yeah. Uh, And his sons and said, Be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth. The care and dread of you will be upon every wild animal, bird in the air, creature upon the little ground, fish, they have all been handed over to you. Okay. Every living thing that lives will be food for you. Just as I have given you green plants before, now I give you everything. Only the flesh with its life, which is in its blood, you are not to eat. I will certainly demand an accounting for the blood of your life. From every animal and human being. Da, 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 da. As for me, I hear I am establishing my covenant with you and your descendants, and with every living creature, I will establish my covenant with you that no, never again will all the living beings be destroyed by the water of a flood. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the agreement. That's the agreement. agreement. Right. And it's unconditional. So that one is yes. That one is. He said, uh, "It don't matter what y'all do. I will never destroy with a flood." <laughs> I mean, he could still bring fire down, but with a flood, it's never going to happen. And the rainbow is his promise. Right, yeah. it's a sign of the promise. Right. right. Now, here's what we. That's where I get when I started studying mm -hmm. the covenants. Mm -hmm. I looked for three things: the parties of the covenant, mm -hmm. the signs of the covenant, mm -hmm. and the blood, like you said. Yeah. The blood necessary for, to cut a covenant. There's okay. some blood involved. Okay. So when it dealt with uh, looking back at Eden, okay, there was no sign. There were parties involved. Okay. But there was no sign given okay. concerning the covenant. 
There was no blood given concerning the son of the Okay. When it came to Adam, maybe there was blood, mm -hmm. but still there was no sign given concerning that covenant. Okay. But with all the others, especially when you start right here at Noah, right. in each one of the covenants that, that, that God makes with man regarding his dealing with man, there's parties, uh -huh. there's a sign, and there's blood of the covenant. Okay. Each time. Okay. Uh, according to this, it says that there are four covenants. Okay. Abraham, Noah, David, and the new covenant described by Jeremiah. Okay. Which, that, those are the, the testament is also, can be also referred to as covenant. covenant. Okay. So, so the old covenant, the new covenant. Okay. Yeah. So here, they list Eden. Oops. Do that one. Adam, go after the fall. Noah, Abraham, Moses. They actually list the Palestinian covenant. Yeah. Davidic covenant. New covenant. Those are the ones that they list. Now they do say one one of the things that that I was uh, a little research. There are some of the covenants that are some are general right. to and all men. So if you if you take if you take Eden as a covenant, if you take Adam as a covenant, then those are universally applicable. And then there are other covenants which are specific. He said that we don't have a tree of thought of the knowledge of good and evil. So we can't that there's no well, need of that tree. Right. And so that's so where that some people say general. that that covenant does not continue today. Correct. Because it that would be a specific. So that was a specific it was so specific in the individual in the party, but it had not eternal, but enduring consequences because we still have, right. we still, we still live with the consequence of the failure yes. and, and the failure to uphold, mm. uphold, you know, if you call it yes. a covenant, but the failure to obey, if well, nothing yeah. else. And that's part, that's another part of covenant, <laughs> uh, the length of the covenant. What's, right. what's the time period right. of, of this covenant? Again, right. Again, because he's like I said, these were these were once in a lifetime deals. Right. Right. Now, and, and since we're here, uh -huh. I wanted to mention okay. that original sin, okay. or what the church commonly refers to original sin, is not on the woman. Right. That's true. It's on Adam. That's true. That's true. And all you have to do is go back and read what God says yeah. to Adam. You did not do this. That's you right. were responsible. So. Anybody that ever tells somebody or any church that believes that the woman is the cause of sin. Right. And you, you I mean, certainly you can make the argument even just from a plain reading of the text that. Adam, where are you? Right. Adam, where are you? Right. Adam, where are you? Um, yeah. the, Not Eve. The Adam. woman, you can make the argument, was tricked into it. Right. Whereas the man was looking on and he's like. Well, we in here. Give me a bite, right? She passed it. He, he chose to eat it. And they, choice. And God had the conversation with Adam. Right. No. He I'm said, kidding. Adam, don't. Right. He didn't say. Uh, right. So we're looking at your categories, uh, what it lists here, and this, I think these are some good ones. Uh, but the loss of innocence kind of thing, or that part. I, yeah. I agree with that part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. just don't know. I would not call okay. it. Okay. So the the what period of dispensation, whether you talk about innocence, conscience, grace, kingdom, uh, the beginning, the end. So when when it started and, and concluded, what were the responsibilities? Yeah. What were the failures? Yeah. 
Yeah, so we do, you know what, I like this chart and it's good for referencing, you know, just in general. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we'll, we'll get it posted up on this thing. Yeah. Uh, to do that. What's the judgment for breach of the covenant? Right. right. What is the corresponding, or, or is the corresponding covenant to this period of dispensation? So it's actually on the, on the Y axis is actually um, the dispensation and on the X axis, it's the covenants, but so what is the covenant that corresponds to that dispensation? So it really starts with the dispensation of innocence. And then it says, okay, well, which corresponding um, covenant are they talking about? So with innocence, you're talking about Eden and that's a conditional one. Who does it apply to? Right. This one applies to the whole race and does it continue today? There's no here. Um, right. I mean, I, I would say that. That part sounds all of that. I agree with right, right, right. Just yeah. Whether or not it's whether or not it's a, a it's a, a cover. Right, right. And, and like I said, in like in like Daniel agreed, one of the key parts mm -hmm. of a covenant is the blood. Right. So, right. And um, as you dig into this, you'll mm -hmm. find that uh, depending on the covenant. Right. Who, which of the parties were required to supply the blood? Right. Mm, yep. That's a that's a key point too. Yep. Because is. with this one particular and with Noah, right. God supplied the blood. Correct. Yeah. Uh, yep. Not Noah. Yeah. And with several others, God, God supplied the blood. And in several of them, he he does the walking. Nobody else does. That's, and in those cases, that's where it's the unconditional part because he's the only one who walks. Mm -hmm. So when you look at the uh, Noah's covenant, mm -hmm. um, God supplies the blood by the death of all of the all, all the animals and human beings except. Yep. Yep. And he's the one that walked between yeah. the blood. Right. Passed okay. between. Right. Yeah, passed between. Mm -hmm. Noah never did. Right. right. And so if you, if you look at that, those two things. So you can look at it, so you can determine mm -hmm. by the execution of it whether it's conditional or unconditional. Right. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's good. All right. So then let's go to Noah, which we, we all agree okay. is a covenant. All right. So, <laughs> okay. It's the first one mentioned in the Bible in Genesis 6 18 right. and is referenced again. Not. So, That's just, the conclusion of it. just for context, they say that the previous one, if you buy it as, as one, mm -hmm. the Adamic uh, covenant ended with the flood, and the Noahic covenant, covenant yeah. began. So, what is so it's saying? Well, they're lining them up with the dispensation. Right. Yes, yeah, that's, that's what they're saying. Live, live, live according to, right, so where is it written and then uh, come back over the stage, the beginning, the beginning of the, so, what is the fall? That's right, the fall so, is the beginning. so conscience begins as a fall. That's what this is saying, conscience begins there. Right. So now a new covenant. Is necessary, but uh, so it starts with the flood. They're saying it, it starts with the flood. The next one will start with the flood, and the I mean, would you say that the death of all humanity, save eight people, that was uh, the blood that was the blood that was shed? That was the blood that was shed. That's the blood that was, shed. That was, the blood. Blood that was required. Uh, okay, but there's, a, there's another level to that, too. Okay. Uh, Okay. The reason, the reason for the flood. Okay. And when you go back to the very beginning of chapter six, right? And God speaks concerning mankind, right? The wickedness and well, the and also the the not, right. So yeah, that's what I was. So when you about. yeah, when you see the word, uh, so when you see the the nephilim, yeah. that is actually the progeny, the offspring of. 
humanity and, and angel yeah. and humanity. Right. Because the what does it say? The sons of God. Yeah. Yeah. So in, uh, in time, when the men when men began to multiply on the earth, the daughters were born to them. Yep. The sons of God, angels, okay. right. saw that the daughters of men were attractive and they took wives for themselves, whoever they chose. Yeah. Right. God and I said, My spirit will not live in human beings forever, for they are flesh. The Nephilim were on the earth in those days, and also afterwards, when the sons of God came into the daughters of men and bore them children, these were ancient heroes, men of renown. Yeah. Then he said, the other eyes saw that the people of earth were wicked, and all the imaginations of their hearts were always of evil only. Mm-hmm. And I think, uh, now I heard this, and... and are you gonna yeah. say that? Are you gonna say that Goliath was Nephilim? Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. He was definitely. Child, okay. Child, yeah, actually, Nephilim yeah. means fallen one. Fallen one. Yeah. Fallen one. That's it. Mm-hmm. And the thing about it is, uh, when he speaks, when he spoke about the Nephilim, he called them the fallen ones. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think one of the words they that giants. they use the giant is that the mm-hmm. earth born. Yeah. Um, the one right. who was born on earth. Okay. So, mm-hmm. and then you come to uh, Noah, mm-hmm. and it said that he was perfect in his generations, mm-hmm. and that and that same word uh, had to deal with his generation, his his uh, genealogy mm-hmm. was unstained. Okay. His genealogy was unmixed. So he was just human. So he was yeah, he was straight human. Whereas uh, so, many so many others were corrupted by that particular right. strain of. of um, Nephilim and angel mixology, whatever going on. What's, what's the term they use now? Uh, transhumanism. Right, right, right. <laughs> and that's so, and, and so then what, uh, what's the good point? Because then what God does with the flood is he gets rid of all the Nephilim. Like right. He gets rid of all that. He gets rid of the half breeds and, uh-huh. the, and, the, and the whatevers and the. Right. Yes. Okay. And allows humanity. Yeah, because it was something that he never intended. Right. Yes. Right. And they're also called fallen ones because they, in turn, cause everyone on earth to fall. Fall. Okay. Fall. Fall. And it's interesting. You know, like I said, I, I, I was thinking about Noah when you first mentioned going into Noah, and I thought right. about what Jesus said in uh, Matthew 24 you know, mm-hmm. as it was in the days of Noah. That's so what they be, started thinking. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like yeah. looking around at the world we're in now. Mm-hmm. And I'm thinking, okay, what was going on during the days of Noah? Right. What well, then let's think about that. Okay, so here Noah is, and he has been, he's married and has three sons who have now gotten married. Mm-hmm. There's no mention of any other children at this point. Nope. That's it. That's it. Okay, so we're talking about a group of, so in this, in, in this instance, we're talking about people who are all vegans. Yeah. Uh, and who the has never rained. Right, right. At okay. night, when the moisture comes up from the ground that's right. to water the plants. Yep, that's right. Okay. We took the soil and all that and cared for animals, but we did not consume right. those that's animals. Right. That's right. So, like, sharing sheep, that's all good, you know. Mm-hmm. But I just, just some thoughts, what you're saying, in a time, so let's, you know, let's think about it. Now, he built this thing. In the ark. The ark. Yeah. Yeah. And it took him 40 years to build it. Mm-hmm. This is one of our first mentions of 40. Mm-hmm. Pretty important. Mm-hmm. 40 is one of those important numbers. What did I get one point of thought? He was 120. Yeah, because I think his age. He was 120 when God shut the. It was either when he shut the, the door to the ark. No, he was 600 years old. Yeah, he was 600. Yeah, yeah. so what was 120? Yeah, that might not be 120. Uh, the, the, the human humanity was only supposed to live for 120. That might be. Yeah. But it was also, it also had, had it, it could be with the flood itself because it rained for 40 days and 40 nights, right. but it, they it's somehow longer than the ark. Yeah, they were in the ark a lot longer than that. Yeah, they were in the ark longer than that because of the child of the ark. What? Sitting out and waiting for the water to recede. To recede, exactly. The other thing that needs to be mentioned is that thing that we learned. In, 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 in Sunday school, when we little, all the animals two by two. <laughs> so, yes. 
from all the kinds. All kinds of the animals were taken. Those that were unclean, there were two. Yeah. Of every clean animal, however, there were seven couples. Seven couples of clean, one couple of unclean. Okay. Okay. So that would, and, and even in that, you know, That's because right. of the size of, uh, and I was looking at something about mm -hmm. Chuck Mitchell was talking about the size of the ark um, based off the cubic and things like that. Mm -hmm. it, it was big enough to handle like 300 and something thousand sheep. Right. Yeah. You know, and sheep right. with a sheep being the median size of, of, of mm -hmm. the land. Right, right, right. Uh, so when you started, you know, doing the math, doing the math yeah. and going mm -hmm. to so big to small. So it was 50 feet long, mm -hmm. 75 feet wide, and 45 feet tall. Yeah. That is how big it is. So one of the things that uh, that Ken Ham, uh, he does the answers in Genesis. People are like, well, how can I have how can I have a a, a pit bull and and a and a Rottweiler and and you don't need it because back then it was dog and dog has all the genes necessary to make every other right. That's what I meant by time. Yeah, based on but, time. Uh, yeah. So he didn't need to have a pit, two pit bulls and two Rottweilers. And two right. He, he had a dog. He had a dog. He had canine. Right. He had canine. 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 Exactly. And all yeah. But so 450 feet long. Your uh, football field is 300 feet long. Mm -hmm. Make that a mental image. Oh, by the uh -oh. way. Yeah. Uh -oh. The audio is bad for Aaron. Sounds like Charlie Brown's teacher. Who is that? That's Charlie Brown. Let me see. Let me just see that he's on here. Well, he's listening. <laughs> Hold on. I'm Charlie Brown. You're Charlie oh, Brown's teacher. I see what happened. Is it not on? Yeah. It's, you got it. The power is not to it. So, thank you. All right. Let's see what happened at the end. There we go. I got a microphone down. Yeah. I got a light. Hold on. Thank you for <laughs> preparing me to Charlie Brown's teacher. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> okay, so 400 feet. 400 feet. 450 feet. Oh, by the way, Ken Ham, yeah. Answers in Genesis, he's the one that built the ark. Yeah, he built it. Uh, up yeah, there. Yeah. Life size, which Ohio, we, Tennessee, something like that. Yep, huge. Yep. Kentucky. Answers in Genesis. Kentucky. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Kentucky. Yeah, Kentucky. Kentucky. Anyway, he bought up. He, 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 oh, oh, he's answered. Much better. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Ron. Welcome yeah. to the show. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. So if y'all were listening from the beginning, I apologize. Yeah. We're gonna have to do this again next week. <laughs> thirty <laughs> minutes after. Thirty minutes after. That's okay. We'll we'll start. We'll we'll recap next recap. week. Yeah. We'll recap next week. Um, yeah, just to make sure that that everybody gets everything, and we're gonna put that chart up too. Yes. Because um, I, I think it's a good chart. Whether or not you think it's a no, couple I I agree. It's a great chart. I just don't. Yeah, that's Whether my one. And it's a, yeah. 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 It's so good, uh, help. it's a good jump off point and, and it's good, exactly all things in perspective and help. Yeah. Right. 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 So right. we okay. so we know so we're talking big, Noah, right? We, yeah, we're, we're talking, talking about Noah. Noah. Okay. We're talking about how big the ark was, 450 feet by 75 feet, mm -hmm. and it was 45 feet tall. It has three decks. It had a, 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 a big old skylight, a big door that had to be, oh, by the way, closed by God. Yes, from the right. outside. From the outside. Right. Yes. Um, to a generation that had never seen 
water in the, they'd never seen rain and they'd never seen water in this kind of quantity uh they were all vegetarians mm-hmm. um and noah was 600 years old right at the time when he got into the ark when with the family the okay so all right and then he then it floods mm-hmm. and it's rained for 40 days and 40 nights 40 it's the same thing with Moses on the mountain, mm-hmm. 40 days and 40 nights. Yeah. It's the same with mm-hmm. the Israelites in the year, 40 year or mm-hmm. 40 years in the desert with yeah. the Israelites. Yeah. It's 40 days in the desert for, for Jesus, Jesus. Yeah. temptation. Yeah. 40 is an important number. 40 is an important number. 40 is an important, important number. Age too. Important yeah. Age. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yes, so it <laughs> rained for 40 days, but you're right. right. I think it's a, I think it's closer to 120 that until they could come back out. From the day they went in to the day they came out, after the dove, you know. Um, and oh. so, actually, yeah, because Noah was 100, it was 601. Okay, nice. Okay, so, here's my life. Okay. okay. This is how I, I broke it down. I got, like, the parties of the covenant, okay. the sign of the covenant, okay. and the length of the covenant. Right. I have okay. that somewhere else, too. Okay. Yeah. So, right, the parties of the covenant was God... Number one, he was the initiator. That was, that was the one thing about this covenant that set it apart, that, that literally set the precedent. Right. Okay, so he was the initiator of the covenant. Uh, the part, it was between Noah and his sons, all the animals, and the earth. Yeah, I will establish with my and, covenant and, with you right. and all the living beings. Yep, and every creature. So all everything on the earth, every living creature on the earth is a part of the covenant. And the sign of the covenant, which I love still, is the bow in the clouds. Right, right. Okay, so this is the sign of the covenant. That's why every time some some uh, body tries to co-op that particular sign, I thank them. Right, right. Oh, thank you for reminding us of God's covenant. You know what, though? What's interesting is it's never, in all of those cases, it's never the same as the rainbow in the sky. No. It's the always, colors are different they, they or in a different color, order. Different order. They change so the think about that color. provision of God that mm. even though there are groups that have taken, They're trying to, yeah. Yeah. it's not the same. Right. Mm. And the last thing about this one was uh, the length of the covenant. Right. And bomb. Is, Yes. Yes, so they say it still continues today. Correct. It's, uh, it's, give, it's a covenant with the entirety of the human race mm-hmm. and all the creatures on the earth and the creatures on the earth right. good point um, never yeah. again flood to destroy yep. the earth yep. and the judgment they say here and I guess it's because they're uh, I'm going to check that one because they say that the judgment because of the drunkenness and rebellion was the tower of Babel no yeah I don't mm-hmm. no that's, no no the judgment was on the earth prior to the flood. The yeah. judgment was... The, right. That's, the, yeah. that's what caused the flood in what the first place. What caused the flood in the first place. So I think what they're saying here is the breach of the covenant. So go forward from the flood, and that's the next thing. I'm, I'm, There's I'm no breach in this. On. This is unconditional. Yeah. There's no breach There's to no this. There's no part one. for man to play. Man, and that's another thing about some okay. covenant. Uh, God initiates covenants in certain uh, places with certain people that they have no no uh, part in. Okay. You know, they have no. There is nothing for them to do. Right. They they right. have no no. Absolutely. They have no hand in it. Right. At right. All. And this is one of them. This is the right. first one. They, we have no hand in this covenant whatsoever. It's we had no. Put, we, we didn't we, walk in it, and we have no responsibility to keep no it. No responsibility to to maintain it or anything. It's completely unconditional as far as we're concerned. We have nothing to do with it. Nothing we can do. Uh-huh. Ooh, I love this because this is good stuff. Because by the time we get to the new covenant, guess what? We run back into that same situation. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Of an unconditional covenant that we had nothing to do with. Ooh, so do we want to go ahead and go on to the Abrahamic now? What time uh, is it? What time is it? Time is now. Seventeen. We got about what? Seventeen minutes. 15 Ten minutes, minutes or so. Mm. Mm. Let me see. I mean, we could touch on Abram, uh, the first part. I don't know. I would say let's let's go through and we'll pick it up next week with uh, with Abraham. 
but um, I mean, do you feel like we touched on what the Noahic covenant is? Are you well, satisfied the Noah, that we've the Noahide uh, covenant is the easiest one? Okay. Yeah, last one. Yeah. Earth, humanity on Earth mm-hmm. was evil. Yeah. God wiped it out. Okay. So, the cutting of the flesh, the walk between the, fl- uh-huh. the it was was the death of all the, the living things on the earth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And God has agreed that He will never again flood the earth, mm-hmm. or has said He would never again flood the earth, and the rainbow was His promise okay. to that effect. And it remains. And then the. And it's unconditional. It's, unconditional. it's an unconditional one. In, and and Daniel is absolutely correct. We have nothing to do with this. This is all on God. Oh, There's nothing we can do to change this. Right. So we can't change it. But how do you read chapter nine? Chapter nine. We can't so break. chapter nine. So we cannot break it, but we have responsibilities. No, we don't. No, we what don't. Do you mean? It's unconditional. I agree. Okay, so I will never destroy the earth again by flood. True. It doesn't say if you do or if you don't. So There's no then, if. <clears throat> okay, so then is this misplaced? Because it says above uh, above nine, God's covenant with Noah. Then God blessed Noah <laughs> and his son, saying to them, Be fruitful and increase in number and fill the earth. The fear and dread of you will fall on all the beasts of the earth and all the birds in the sky and every creature that moves along the ground and on all flesh in the sea. They are given to your hands, everything that moves that lives and moves about will be food for you. Just as I gave you green, green plants, I now give you everything. So I'm not saying... So yes. th- this, this It says is, only... So you're going with only flesh with its life, you're not to eat, because I will demand an accounting. That's not a... That, that's, it's still not conditional. So I'm not saying it's earth. conditional, but just like, you know, God will... God will... God's plan will be uh, will be lived out, you know, whether you want to go from you know the, the gifts and call uh, of God or, or without repentance or those things. Um, God's going to do what God's going to do, mm-hmm. but it doesn't mean that we don't have a responsibility in it. And I think there is a responsibility. from a covenant point. No, if, no. if you're just no. sticking with covenant. No. We no. do not have a part. We, we do not have a responsibility in this covenant. No. There's nothing we can do. There's yeah, nothing. There's nothing we can do to break that particular covenant. Nothing. Okay. Uh, that I can see. Um, but then here, look at as for uh, me, nine and uh, eight. Yeah, nine and eight. God spoke to Noah and his sons and said, As for me, I am here with establishing my covenant right. with you and your descendants, every living creature. I will establish my covenant with you that never again will all the living beings be destroyed by the flood. And this is the sign. And coming. this is the sign. Whenever I bring clouds over the earth and the rainbow is seen, I will remember my covenant which is between myself and you and every living creature and never again. The rainbow will be in cloud and when I look at it, I will remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature. Okay. This is the sign of the covenant which I have established. Done. There's okay. not a, a it's not an if then. No, I'm not saying it's an if then. I'm asking the question, how do you fit you know where where does where does the the fear and you know the all animals will will fear you, you're supposed to be fruitful and multiply. So how does that fit into the context? Because I mean it's it's there for a reason. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Well, before the animals were not afraid of us. True. Now they are. Now they are, but but now that's why we eat. But now we eat them too. And they eat us, right? Right. And they will. Oh, by the way, there will be an accounting of for every animal that kills a human. There's an accounting for that too. But what does an accounting mean? An accounting mean. So I was thinking about that earlier this week. Like, okay, so what's an accounting? So if you were wandering through the forest and you're like, hmm, that little baby bear, I'm gonna go kick that baby bear. And then Mama Bear mauls you. 
I think the accounting is, <laughs> yeah, I was like, hmm, I think you got what you deserve. <laughs> I see what you're saying. <laughs> I see what you're saying. Yeah, but so, I, 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 and I get it because, like I said, according to the chart, the chart that you're going from, they use the judgment right. as they 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 looking for a judgment connected to the particular covenant. Right, right. But there, or really, it's connected to the dispensation, not necessarily yes. to the covenant. Right. Okay. So well, now, I think that it has more to do with the fact that mm-hmm. animals we're given dominion over the animal, mm-hmm. so the animal is not supposed to be killing us. I supposed to. Well, then I guess all dogs do go to heaven, then, don't they? Well, <laughs> if they're going to have an accounting, then animals have to have a, a, an yes. afterlife of some kind too. Yeah. I agree with that. Yeah. But I mean, we talk about animals, clo- clo- uh, you know, covering the the rainbow bridge. You know. Yeah. You know when they die. So your but, point is, so you're saying based on where it's placed in eight. The covenant doesn't begin and it's independent of what happens in right. uh, in, in chapter through, nine, one, one through, through seven. seven. Correct. Yeah, one through seven. So that's totally independent. That's independent Correct. Because the, the actual covenant starts in six six eighteen. It's independent of the covenant. But I will establish my covenant with you. You will come into the ark, you, your sons, your wife, and your sons' wives with you. I'll bring. That's where the first mention is. Well, okay. So I will establish my covenant with you. And what does it say there? From every living thing you're to bring to. That's it. That's it. So I will then, establish my covenant with you guys. Come into the ark. Bring the animals with you. Let's okay, go. Okay, so so there is a promise of the covenant. Right. And then it's actually and then laid we'll out to, in, yeah, nine, nine, in 9 and 8. Correct. 9 and 8, nine, yeah. Yeah. In 17, that's when it's actually, he actually lays out the covenant. Right. And that's that's kind of a a, a pattern as well because mm-hmm. um, when you get to Abram, it's same it's the same thing. The promise yeah. comes first before the covenant is yeah. yes. cut. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, Which, by that logic, mm, could then you go back to Eden? No blood. Well, well, but by the pattern of the promise coming first. The promise right, first. but you still have to have the blood. So where's the blood fall for the Eden? Hmm. Yeah. That's okay. 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 I mean, I, I get there's a promise, and I'm not. I'm, I'm going with yeah. you on that one. I got okay. no issues okay. there. Okay. But again, where does the blood come? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the signs. Okay. That go in that fall under the Eden covenant. Okay. So it. So you, you might say at the very best that the first covenant would be after the fall. Yeah. Uh, I mean, for me, the first covenant is Noah. Is Noah. Okay. It's okay. Noah. Okay. Because, again, even when Adam eats the apple, right. they, sew, they make a loincloth out of leaves, not skins. And then God covers them. He does it. He does it. That's right. That's yes, right. but... Again, okay. It's there's 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 no there's no sign on that either. There's no, there's no there's no I establish every other place. See mm-hmm. the thing the other problem I have with those is okay. in all of those other ones it talks about establishing covenant or okay. making that agreement. Okay. There okay. is no making an agreement. No, no agreement. Okay. Okay. Because again, you can't have a covenant with two parties that aren't of sound mind. Uh, okay. So but uh, mens rea type stuff. You can't if you don't have mens rea, you can't be convicted of the crime either. Right. Because you don't know what you're doing. Okay. Okay. All right. Remember, good order and discipline. God's mm-hmm. all about good order and discipline. It's true. That is true. So then, our next covenant then is Abraham. Okay. Uh, or Abram to Abraham. Yes. Abram. So that's coming up next week. Where we will talk, we'll we'll recap this one, and then we'll move into uh, to Abram next week, where we are looking at Genesis the 15. dispensation of promise. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to be starting what in fifteen? Yeah. Genesis fifteen. Genesis. Uh, twelve. No. Genesis 12. eleven. 12. And uh, Genesis 11 and Genesis 12. 
That's, That's where they're starting to be mentioned, but the the the, con, right, right, right. the, the, the covenant doesn't come to the right. Yeah. Okay. Right. That's where the promise. The promise. Is yeah. The promises start. Yeah. Yeah. The promise yeah but Genesis start. 15, 1 through 18, I think, is specifically where you're going to see this uh, this unconditional covenant. So. Oh, yeah. Anyway. So it was good. It was good. Good stuff. So, Ron, the beginning part was just discussing whether or not there was a covenant in Eden and there was a covenant with Adam. Daniel and I are saying nay. Michael's saying but. Maybe. Eh. I'm saying maybe. I'm, I'm <laughs> just saying maybe. maybe. That was what the first yeah, part pretty maybe. much was. So if, if you could get at least that much out of it when you go back to watch it again or now to think back on it, then you're good. And uh, That's she'll, all it was. she'll post the... Uh, She'll post Maybe this chart. Or you'll post that chart. Somebody will post Maybe. that chart. Somebody will post this chart. <laughs> Let me take a look oh, at it. Oh, now Juma Joy says hi, Juma. Hey, Juma. Hey, Juma. Hey, Juma. <laughs> All right. So uh, we're getting ready to wrap up, but if you want to rewind and watch it from uh, about 30 minutes in, I yeah. mean, you can watch the whole way, but you may have to be real close to your... Turn it up real uh, loud. Yeah. Because otherwise it'll... Uh, otherwise you might just... Get an episode of uh, Peanuts wah, 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 wah. and just put that on mute, <laughs> and then you just have. <laughs> well, he Ron only said it applied to me, so y'all, I guess, were just fine. So don't worry. <laughs> I don't understand how. But... <laughs> Deeper voice. I don't know. I don't know. Mike could be. Mike could be. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, anyway, He's we're talking good. about the covenants. No, uh, uh, we. We started with the covenants. What is a covenant? Covenant is, according to the Hebrew term, cutting the flesh. Okay. That in making an agreement by cutting the flesh, and you actually humans, two humans, walked between flesh. The Greeks, the Greek word for it is closer to contract versus mm -hmm. contract. this other, the Hebrew word. But it is, it is an agreement. And there are penalties, and in most covenant cases, death was the penalty. So, oh. so, so oh. interesting. You said it so many times, <laughs> but <laughs> when I went to Algeria, you're never late, Juma. You're never late because it's, it's it's on the line. It's, it's on, on the, the line. You it's, did. It's on the interwebs. But when I went to Algeria, we had a we had a it was a business dinner. We're all in like three-piece suits, cause I mean that's that's all I could find when I went. <laughs> um, but they gave us this meal, and we had. So obviously it's a it's a Muslim country, but we had a meal, and at every table there was a half a sheep on the table for the people at the table to eat, and they were cut lengthwise mm -hmm. on every table. And so that's a lot of meat. Man. It was a lot. It was very good. It was very good. Uh, it was so. But good. We are talking about sheep, so yeah, it's yeah. not that big. Yeah. I mean, it's still a lot well, of meat. Right, right, right. But I'm just wondering, does that was that kind of the roots of that? That we're having this business dinner. We're talk, you know, we're we're talking about you know foreign military sales and everything. And so, in a way, they were kind of like. Covenant. Yeah, covenant. Well, and, and that's, but that, uh, you can see a lot of the culture mm -hmm. that has been able to, has been able to be held onto mm -hmm. in those Muslim nations yeah. from closer to that time frame, whereas Jews have been forced to integrate and assimilate, mm -hmm. the Muslim culture has not had to. The children of Ishmael have not had that same. They they've been much more populous as for one. Right. Um, yeah. So there are still things that you can see, but there that's exactly a perfect place to see that. Yeah. For example, um, when you break bread, mm -hmm. it's not cut bread; it's break bread. Mm -hmm. You because a, a knife is a weapon of war. Mm. That's why you break bread. You didn't bring a weapon of war to the table. It's the same thing. So there's a lot of those things mm. in very simple instances that if you then look back, you can see mm. those. Mm. And yeah. that's exactly how it was because 
the animal was cut from head to toe right. because both sides had the same responsibilities. Right, right, right. Whereas if you were cut just in the middle like this, right. somebody's got this responsibility side, for the brain. Somebody's got exactly. Brain. So there's a there's a there's not an equality there. Mm. Whereas this way there is an equality. Mm. Same idea. It's just one of those things. So when the two women and, and we're, we're, cut the baby, <laughs> when they would cut the baby, they would, they would probably cut it if they were to, because the one day they would have cut, and so they would both be responsible then for Correct. the death of that child. Correct. Mm -hmm. So Solomon used the very wise mm -hmm. move to cut the baby. You, it, yeah. And it's interesting, and this is this is why <laughs> this is why, like you were saying, foundational, and what it is. Some of these things are very foundational to why we do certain things the way we do. And then you go, I get it now. Yeah, it connects. Yeah. But, but if you don't learn... No, no. But okay. what do we want to get out of this? If nothing else, we want you to understand, and we hope to see you next week, but we want you to understand that understanding the covenants and understanding how God relates to us and has related to us through the years... I think it's key to really understanding the whole of the word because once you understand, oh, there's a, there's a, a message up there. Once you understand the covenants and the, the parties, the responsibilities, the judgments, all those things, once you understand that, then you can under, then it makes sense like, okay, wow, this is why this thing still applies to me today. This is why this piece no. doesn't apply to me today. Because, well, right. that that covenant concluded. Was if, specific or concluded. Right. Right. Because if we... The parties involved in right. it right. very specific. That right. Time. And, we'll and it goes the, right along with what Ron was just saying. He said, so, penalty for not sticking to the covenant, would there not be a responsibility to avoid the penalty? Right. Well, mm -hmm. if penalty is death, I yeah. think we don't need responsibility to avoid that penalty. <laughs> yeah. I think, I think it's saying. ingrained in the whole thing. Well, I mean, well, that's what he's saying. There. Yeah. But there it is that responsibility. responsibility yes, yes, yes. There. Otherwise, you know, there, there can be no judgment. There can be no penalty. Right. That's right. If that's there's right. no responsibility involved. Right. Yeah. Which is why knowing that it is a covenant mm -hmm. and, and, and the spilling of blood. Right is such an integral part to it mm -hmm. because again mens rea type thing if you don't know that you're doing this then mm -hmm. it's not a contract and so that's why you say that eden is not a covenant and adam <laughs> Well, I I, like i said i can kind of feel feel adam i don't bit. know adam because I'm right doing... Okay, so we're gonna post we're this gonna, chart. We're gonna have to get and back I'm gonna on share. This one. Yes, we're, I'm gonna <laughs> share this chart with everybody, and we're, we're gonna see like okay. We're gonna do some research on this yeah. academic. Academic. Yes. Okay, academic. but the agree, uh, but the agreement to multiply. I think we're getting to the same thing. I think the agreement. There was no penalty. There's no. There's there's, there's no, no penalty to that. Nothing it, attached it was, to that. Right, but being it's full, a direction. Yes, but There's being guidance, but, but being not. fruitful and multiplying has nothing to do with whether or not God's going to flood the earth again. True. Uh, no. 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 Well. No. <laughs> no. So okay. There's so not been, oh, not I will the never way. again destroy <laughs> the earth by flood. Okay. So be fruitful and multiply. Why are the two words? Why are there two separate words there? Because multiply is just multiply. Mm -hmm. Fruitful. What is fruitful? Well, fruitful means also it could and be referencing the taking care of the earth. Uh, yeah, and then okay. the word multiply actually has a, 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 a connotation of replenish, right? Rather than and rather than in, in the terms that we think of, fruitful is about the multiplication of flesh, and uh, the replenish the earth would be a better. See, it, and that's where I went. But see, with Adam it. got the same require the requirement. He did. Right. That is true. The same right. requirement. That is true. But so my my thought on that was multiply is just make more. Fruitful is something that is. I don't know. In my mind, beneficial. Uh, yeah. Beneficial you know what? We need to look at a conditional covenant 
so okay. that we can understand the sides of it, so that you can understand what the covenant is. Okay. I mean, when we get when we get to Moses, you'll see yeah. real easy when we start looking at the Mosaic covenant and the Davidic and, and the Davidic covenant. Yes, and you'll see. Even Abraham uh, is still there's, pretty. There's a little bit in Abraham too. But that, it's uh, but, it's yeah. Yeah, the um, oh here he said, and drought the opposite of flooding. Oh no, he could he could he could he can drought he can <laughs> dry us out. Yeah. It's that not comes, the op- that comes in in the later covenant too. <laughs> <laughs> it only said he would never flood us again. He yeah. could rain down fire. He could dry us out. Yeah. You know he can do all of those things. Asteroids and all that good stuff. Yes, just so, no rain. No, just no water. <laughs> <laughs> so by by this chart, if you. Go with all eight of them. They're saying that the only two conditional ones are Eden and Moses. So yeah. Moses would so be. So we'll it. take a look at Moses. Well, you gotta go in order because some of them are built on. Okay, I got that. Yes, but, but so, yes. So according well, to this, Mos- the Mosaic Covenant is a conditional, which comes one. right after Abraham. Right. So yeah, it's not far off. No, I know. <laughs> We'll get there. All right. We'll get there. It won't take long. And we'll put this up so you guys can look at it and 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 do some readings and then you can and you then can you can weigh in on whether or not exactly. you think it meets the criteria for uh, okay. the two parties. Whether parties, you can do, whether we can agree on the definition of covenant. Yeah. Yeah. That's you important. know what? We I need to pull that strongs and that mm-hmm. dictionary over there and we'll have to agree on what covenant means. Then we can decide whether or not Things okay. Are coming in. Sounds good. All right. Well, cool. Enjoyed it. Great job. Yes. Great <laughs> words. All right. Great <laughs> words. All right. Chris Bumble song. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Whatever. Uh, so. Get <laughs> him. Yeah. Uh, anyway, y'all have a great week. Uh, let Let's pray out, and then uh, yeah, leave a note. If you got more messages, if you're watching it after time, just. Throw the messages up there. We want to see them. We want to respond to them. Uh, we want to make this worth coming to every every Thursday night. So uh, thanks, and let's pray out. Uh, dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for this opportunity to gather together and just uh, just fellowship and meditate over your word. Uh, we I just pray that that you. Give us, uh, give us open hearts and open eyes to fully understand what you have intended for us, uh, not from a sense of, uh, of, of, of legalism or whatever it is, but just so that we can grow closer to you, so that we can uh, really understand your word and bring it, uh, bring it as, as you intend for us to bring it to the rest of this world, which needs you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. Me a fight my behind. I am. I, well, you knew all the stuff. You tell me Eden is not so. <laughs>